Like, I think it's a very handsome piece. It works for a lot of different occasions. There's a cattail in the background and I'm just going to keep going, I guess. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with the Court, where I talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. If this is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. Some of you might remember how a while back I bought my Louis Vuitton Sienna PM from Fashion File. Now I have had mixed experiences with Fashion File. The first thing I ever bought from Fashion File, my beautiful reissue 225, it did have some damage that was not disclosed in the listing. And the only thing that Fashion File said was that you can return it for a refund, but that's it. Like, you aren't happy with it, return it. And I understand if that's their policy, that they have a really good return policy, so if something isn't right or you don't like something, you just return it. But I wasn't thrilled with the way that they responded, like how their email was phrased. But that's neither here nor there. I did end up taking another chance on purchasing from Fashion File when I purchased my Sienna. This was the second purchase from Fashion File that I ever made, and I'm really pleased with this bag. I love it, I use it, I wear it a lot, and I just, I really enjoy this bag. I think it's very handsome. It fits everything that I need except for my iPad, which is fine, and I, I just really enjoy this bag. So I have not thought about selling this bag at all since I got it. I just got it in like May, June, and it was kind of like a birthday present to myself, especially after a horrendous move experience that I am not going to go into here but I, I've never thought about selling this bag, especially not so soon after getting it. But I recently received an email from Fashion File asking to buy the bag back. It was part of their 70% return program something where they buy your bag back for 70% after a certain period of time or they offer to buy it back for 70% after a certain period of time, which means of course that you're only getting 70% back of what you paid for the bag. And the thing is that I paid just over a thousand dollars. I think I paid a thousand and seven dollars even, including tax, for my Sienna. It was listed really well. I don't know why. I still to this day don't know why it was listed for what it was because it is in really good condition for what I paid. But they were offering to buy the bag back and they offered me six hundred and sixty six dollars to buy back my Sienna. Now I had no intention to sell the bag back but I was a little bit interested to see what would happen if I submitted the bag for a quote to Fashion File. So I did take all the pictures and I submitted the bag for a quote and I ended up getting a quote back. Now the thing is Louis Vuitton in general tends to retain its value, especially for popular styles. And I know that the Sienna is a fairly popular style and that I've seen it being sold for definitely more than $666. In fact, on Fashion File, the Sienna is usually sold for well over $1,000, $1,200, $1,300. I've even seen $1,500 for the Sienna PM, the exact bag that I have, the exact bag that they offered me just over $650 for, so under $700 they are selling this bag for $1,500, $1,400, which is a 50% markup. And that's something that I did want to mention to you in terms of how we think of bags as investments. So if I had sold this bag to Fashion File and it wasn't a buyback, they were just giving me the $665 they offered for buying the bag from me, I would have made $665 off of this bag. And then they would have sold it for probably a 50% markup for $1,400, $1,500. They're making a huge profit and I'm making much less than what I would have paid for if I had bought the bag new. And you know, I paid only $1,000 for the bag and I'm already losing $350 plus on selling it to Fashion File. Think of somebody who buys the bag new. New, the bag in USD was something like $1,500, $1,600, and that doesn't include tax. So if you're buying the bag new or any bag new for $1,500, not including tax, and then someone offers to buy it back, like a third party resale website offers to buy it from you for, you know, half of what you paid, you're losing half the cost of the bag. That is definitely not an investment purchase and definitely not anywhere close to the profit that you generally hope to see when you buy a bag for investment purchases. Of course, this is just an example of one Louis Vuitton item. It's not a Chanel classic flap or anything like that. It's not even one of the more sought after Louis Vuitton items, but it does really make you think about the fact that if you buy bags new, especially for the prices they currently are being sold for, 
and you take into account that if you sell through a third party like Fashion File or Rebag who want to make profit, they are going to be offering you the lowest possible amount they can so they can sell the bag for the highest profit margin they can get. So if they can buy the bag for you for $600 and they can sell it for $1,200, they're making a $600 profit and you are out however much money you paid when you're only getting $600 back. Now think about that in terms of anything. If you are going to be buying, say, an $8,000 bag from Chanel or a $4,000 bag from Louis Vuitton, and the website that you are selling through wants, of course, to make a profit, and they can't sell it for $8,000 or $4,000, they're going to be offering you much less than the $8,000 or $4,000 you paid. That's just business. It's not necessarily good or bad. It's frustrating sometimes, but it is a business move. They're going to sell it for as high as they can and buy it for as low as they can. So that's something to think about and just something that I wanted to quickly, you know, mention on this platform, which, you know, is not something that I hear a lot. Mostly I hear people say, buy these bags for investment, but there's very little talk about the fact that it isn't investment to buy handbags. It isn't. I made a whole video a while back on how your luxury bag isn't an investment where I go into things in a little bit more detail about investment buying versus wardrobe investment buying and all that sort of thing. But this is just a concrete example that I personally experienced about how these things are not investments. You're going to be losing money, especially with the most recent price increases, which make these bags much, much more expensive than they used to be. You have to sell them for more to make your money back or to make a profit. And I think it's definitely a stretch now to think that you might be making a profit on a bag that is so expensive because of seller fees, commissioner cuts, all that sort of thing. Even if you sell a bag on eBay, you're going to be automatically losing the 10 to 13% that eBay takes from your cut. So even if you manage to sell, you know, a $4,000 bag on eBay, you're out $400 at least just from eBay fee, so you are selling the bag really for $3,600. There is a lot of talk about certain bags being investment pieces, that they are going to keep their value or go up in value over a period of time. Like the Hermes Kelly, the Hermes Birkin, yep, you're probably going to make a profit if you buy it and turn around and immediately sell it. I don't know why you would want to unless you are actively a reseller because these are very hard to get bags. You're probably buying it to keep, not thinking about the resale value because if you're thinking about the resale value on a bag that expensive, it, you know, I don't know necessarily if that's the best sign that you want the bag. If you're thinking about, oh, well, I'll buy this really expensive item, but at least I'm going to be able to resell it down the road when I get sick of it, if I get sick of it. You know, if you're already thinking about how you're going to be able to sell the bag later, it might not be the bag for you. A lot of people do talk about buying investment pieces, but I'm going to reiterate that I really am of the opinion that you should buy what you love, especially for things that are this expensive. Buy items that you're really going to get the money back in worth, in value, in wear. So if you are spending so much money, you're going to be satisfied that you spent it because you're going to be happy with your purchase and not thinking about reselling it later down the line because you want to recoup the money because you're sick of the bag now. Buy what you like, buy what you enjoy, and try not to listen to the people who are talking about just investment buying, buy these bags, buy this color, this style, because you'll be able to resell it for a profit. You know, these are, these are handbags, they're not stocks. These are things that we should be buying to enjoy, things that we shouldn't be worried about resale value for. It is very nice to recoup some of the money, especially when things are expensive, especially if you need to recoup the money or you want to sell them so you can purchase something else. But I still think that there is much more merit in buying an item that you love and want to use and will cherish for a really long time than buying something that you might be able to sell for a couple hundred dollars profit down the line or recoup your money down the line when you inevitably get sick of it because it wasn't something you wanted to buy in the first place anyway. Of course, it's just my opinion. You are free to disagree with me. Plenty of people do. There are so many videos on YouTube about buying things for investment, buying things to resell. So I might be in the minority in terms of this mindset, but it is just something that I wanted to share. I'd love to hear your opinion on the matter, what you think about investment buying, what you think about the idea of investment buying. If you think that maybe Fashion File should have offered me a little bit more money for my Sienna PM over $666 when they're selling these bags for $1,200, $1,300, $1,500. I'd love to hear your take on that. It's just something to think about. 
If you like this video, please do give it a like because it super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content because it helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yes. Laptop, come on. Go away. Not right now.